is uh, the bedroom wall. I'm uh, filling in uh, the headboard type of thing, and I'm going to put a shelf. Now, because the wall tilts in, uh, there's an angle there and uh, a couple other places. So anyway, what I'm doing basically is I'm uh, making a plywood uh, shelf. Now, the uh, yeah, the uh, wall side is at one angle to compensate for the, the tilt in. And the other side, I'm doing it a 45, 45 like this, and a 45 going up. And the way that you uh, put those together is you create a hinge with um, uh, tape. That way you don't see the, uh, the end grain. So anyway, I'll, I'll tilt down here and I'll show you what I've done here with this plywood. So basically, here's the 145 for the upright, the outer edge, the other 45 for the actual shelf, and then there's another edge here that compensates so that when I put it up against the wall, it'll be a flush fit. So I've created the hinge with these pieces of tape. They go all along. Now all I have to do is, uh, you know, you, you make sure that it's, uh, making contact and those joints are right tight together. Now I'll glue it up, put glue in it, and then uh, I can hinge it. I've already put the uh, other one in. Uh, it, it's not necessary. Uh, it depends on what your application is. So anyway, I'll glue this all up and uh, yeah, probably put a lot of glue because uh, you know what? It squeezes out and you're better off uh, having more than uh, you're anticipating because you, you do want a good seal, eh? So, anyway, this is a, a technique that the cabinet makers use uh, to uh, keep everything lined up because it's pretty hard to uh, know where you are, uh, you know, I, I, if, if you're trying to freestyle it, eh? Uh, to make that joint and, and you, you'd like not to have uh, end grain showing because it it just doesn't look good but you know if that's all you can manage uh, that's all you can manage but sometimes a little better technique and attention to uh, what you're doing is you know if you have the ability to cut these angles or whatever it's uh, it potentially results in a better product so Okay, so I got glue in there. Now I'm going to use the uh, univer the uh, universal applicator. And that way you can have a sense too of how much glue is in here. But uh, better more than not enough because you can all because this is going to be painted now. If it was going to be stained, that would be a different situation because of obviously, you know, you're rubbing stain into... Um, i got a little void in the wood here. It's, I didn't realize it until I uh, cut it. And hopefully it's not going to create an issue for me. Okay, now, in theory, in theory, in theory, it's simple as hinging it up. And there's my 45, or my 90, I should say. Oh, 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 see? What I forgot to do was put glue on the end piece. Okay. Now just uh, pack it. Now I'll just bring it to the edge of the table and nail it.
And there we have it. See, it's uh, done right along. And what I can do to maintain that 45, which I will do, is you come to the end and you put a piece of tape right around. Now the brads, in all likelihood, are going to hold it, but you know what? It's just uh, a little bit of uh, extra insurance. So, anyway, uh, now I'll just wait for it to uh, set up, which uh, I live with this glue is only about 20 minutes. So, anyway, there we go. Hey, uh, getting down to nitty gritty here. Uh, in the final stages of um, doing stuff on the van here. So anyway, I'll kind of show you what uh, we've done here. I've got the front going on, the entrance, and uh, I'll uh, I'll show different things here a little later in more detail. Uh, the cabinetry is on the go here, and uh, this end. You can see it, uh, it's actually kind of complicated because the end here for the cabinetry does not have straight lines like these pieces, it's curved. So I'm just in the process here. As you can see, I've made myself all kinds of little notes. Where the heck am I here? Notes on it about, uh, you know, w w what is required, uh, additions, stuff I've got to take off on the back, on the front because of the body contouring and all that type of thing. So. Anyway, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut that end, uh, use a little template that I have to make scab pieces to uh, add to this, then do a, a final fit, and if it's uh, adequate, then I can put the bottom on it, and uh, actually I'll take it all apart, and uh, glue it, screw it, nail it, put the bottom on, paint it, and install it. So this is the project today, and it should go in because we're just in the process here I've got all the solar, uh, or a lot of the solar stuff in here. We've done a layout, and uh, as you can see, the gray part right down here with the tape on it, that's going to be a, a platform that goes right in, uh, yeah, underneath, uh, no, not underneath the batteries, but uh, in this area here, it goes in there with all the solar and everything uh, hooked up to it. So, uh, uh, yeah, we're just taking the time to build the cabinets because they go up in this area here, right? So, uh, yeah, it's just shoehorning the last pieces in. So, anyway, that's what I'm doing. So, uh, I'll uh, take some time, do this, and uh, show you uh, how it turned out. Uh, I'll, I'll do a mock-up uh, when I uh, put it in and uh, maybe do a video and uh, uh, show you why uh, this last part is a little involved. So, it, it has to do with the opening of the doorway. Uh, all kinds of angles. So anyway, we'll be back to you. Okay, so uh, here is that uh, cabinet, the back side, and you can see what I run into here. Uh, yeah, up to the doorway, everything is uh, pretty consistent. The, the, there is a twist in this, but this is just, you know, until I put the bottom in it and square it up, it's uh, gonna do that. It's just the nature of wood. But anyway, this is what was creating the problem because I had to make a template for it. Anyway, this is how it's going to figure out in the end. So, and I have made adjustments. You see my little add ons and up here takeaways, and uh, you know, just try to square it up and uh, make it fit the space. Okay. Here we are, getting very close to the end. I'll give you a kind of an update of uh, where we are with uh, different components of the build. And uh, as I move across, you can see we have company. It's my wife, Janet. She's uh, flown out from uh, Ontario, where we live, to Alberta. And uh, she's helping me uh, finish up here. We're only about, uh, realistically, maybe uh, three, four days uh, till 
my brother gets to evict us. So uh, anyway, stay tuned for that. That'll be a joyous occasion, I'm sure, on his part. But anyway, uh, say hi, Janet. Hi, Janet. There you go. There you go. In the, in the flesh. So anyway. I, I do exist. Yeah, she does exist. Yeah, it's not just a phantom. So anyway, uh, I'll give a little spinneroo here. Uh, as you can see on the counter, there are the um, cabinets that I was, uh, I, I think I mentioned that I was building, uh, but I didn't install uh, because my brother was working underneath them doing the solar because this solar is tight. It is really tight. Now, um, uh, today I hope to uh, get the uh, doors on it. They're right there sitting on the uh, skid steer. Anyway, uh, good drying rack. Eh? Uh, so when uh, all is said and done, uh, he, he claims to be uh, in a position where we'll be, uh, he'll be done tonight. And I told him if, uh, if not, he's fired. So he's under the gun. Okay, uh, what? Do I have to press the thing or is it already doing it? Can you see it recording? No. Oh, okay. Okay, so uh, what I got going on here today is uh, I'm doing the last piece, the last piece of wood I, well, second last piece. Anyway, this area in here, uh, it holds up my ceiling, this board, it's uh, Plus nutted to the uh, frame of the uh, of the van, and uh, it hopes it or hopes it helps. I hope it helps to hold up the cabinetry. The cabinets are tied into it, and it's it's all an anchor point. And now I want to fill this in so that it, it looks good. So anyway, what I've done is I've cut blocks of wood, and then I start playing and uh, molding and uh, cutting back the back of them uh, to relieve them because of the uh, different angles of the. Uh, of the van, and anyway, I made two of them, and now, uh, yeah, then I screw them in here, take the full measurement, and I've got one for either end, and now what I'm going to do is I transfer them, I'll show you over here, Okay, so uh, now what I'm going to do is all this contouring that I've done with my uh, clock, clock sander, I'm going to transfer to the end of the wood. So what I kind of do is just watch what I've done here and 
grind away until I got basically the same profile and it'll probably take a couple of um, fits, <laughs> when doesn't it, and uh, uh, just make it so that it, it goes in. So. And I can see the thickness that I need, or roughly uh, how much I need. This is a three quarter, this is nine sixteenths. It, it really shouldn't matter. Uh, I'll just relieve it to the point that, uh, you know, at the bottom, uh, I get the same profile. So anyway, I'll do that to both ends. And then uh, I've already uh, marked where there's two reliefs for the uh, door latching mechanism that I have to set in. And they actually come in quite a bit. So once I get this done, I'll, I can try them independently, although I can't set them in because I got to flip it up. But uh, at least it lets me know that these ends are done. Um, and then I can uh, just take another measurement on the center, cut those notches out, and hopefully it'll uh, clip right in. So anyway, I'll be back. And I'm the assistant. Yeah, my assistant is taking the video. So <laughs> anyway. I'm All the right. cleanup crew. Cleanup crew, yeah. Okay. Talk to you later. Okay guys, I guess you're uh, still watching this, so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you an update on uh, how I did this. So anyway, uh, as I said before, uh, this cabinet end was very twisted uh, because of the way this beam comes up here, uh, the, the body uh, framing comes up into the uh, back side of this cabinet. So anyway, what I'll do is I'll show you over here, in here, turn on the lights. Oh. Okay, now, in this area, I'll bring my little one up here. Okay, now in this area, as you can see, um, the backboard is on here, and I actually have the, the support right in here that's holding the, the, uh, the back of the cabinetry. When you slide around to this side, it's not there. It's because the body in here is uh, further in and it sticks out here. So anyway, I had to wrap all around there. And as you can see, uh, yeah, hopefully that's gonna come through, is uh, it, it's got the same uh, backer board on it, but uh, there's no board up here because it ended here. Now, how did I do that? Well, what I did was uh, to set this up, and I hope I'm still in the same spot here, when I did this cabinetry, I'll put this stuff back in. Yeah, when I did this cabinetry, what I did was I built a small piece. This big. And that was my layout because I knew that this one and this one were the same. It was the very end one. And then setting up the box here with those pieces on it uh, what I did was I just used this front face to extend it and find in here where the uh, the contact points were and make adjustments on this final end panel. Now the other thing that you may notice is that this board obviously on the front and this one they, they go right to the very end but when you build something like this the way it was set up was now what I'm going to have showing is the end grain here so what I did was I faced it with this pine to give the uh, the finished look and uh, kind of cover that end. Um, it, it, it's because I pushed everything in so far uh, into the, tried to keep it as tight as I could that you uh, uh, run into this issue of this curvature here. I, I've seen other builds where they, they bring it out further and then the cabinetry can be, be built in one piece and this end piece isn't as, um, as uh, different uh, as the rest of the uh, end panels uh, because uh, yeah this one's this one's normal and the rest of them are normal and it's just this end one just to fill it in and that's why we kind of put this area here so anyway uh, yeah and other than that um, I used hinges these are I believe they're uh, glum but anyway I'll, I'll check and see uh, it's all Home Depot stuff guys you know it's pretty simple uh, I, I do like these uh, stays because uh, the original ones that I bought like this were all metal but up here 
you had to force everything onto the pin. Whereas this one has a cap that comes off. And when you uh, want to take this on or off, you pull that cap off and then it just slides off. The, the cap locks uh, the mechanism in here. So uh, the original ones that I bought, uh, you had to force them on and then to take them off, uh, yeah, it, it just wasn't as uh, user friendly. So anyway, those are, those ones right there. And I do like them. So anyway, uh, yeah, depending on how you build, what you want to build, uh, the, these are things that you're going to run into. And, uh, uh, you know, it's just a matter of uh, making uh, the best of uh, what you've got. Now, as you can see, this originally was going to go on the inside. But uh, by the time you put it inside, you need that much room to uh, actually be able to slide it onto the end here. Eh? So uh, uh, we come up with this uh, fix. Just putting it on the door and you know what it's there yeah this treatment that was used on this end was used on the opposite end also and on the shelf that i built at the back and uh i'll show you that now here is that shelf that i put in and you'll see how i created this edge without any end grain showing and it's a pretty uh, standard uh, way of doing things. And, uh, and as you can see here, uh, what it does is it allows us to have baskets up above and uh, anything that we might need during the night uh, that uh, or storage, eh? And uh, then what I've done is uh, on the edges here, right here, I've uh, capped it with the same wood and stain as the rest of the uh, ceiling and accent pieces on there. And as I was saying earlier, I uh, capped this end, same as the uh, upper cabinet in the kitchen, just to uh, keep it consistent and uh, actually use drywall screws to put all this together because they were black and uh, they, they hold everything. And uh, as you can see, there's a, a USB charge point. And uh, yeah, th this was uh, kind of just a throw in because you don't have a lot of room in here and you don't want to uh, have it uh, uh, take up so much headroom that you're bumping into it. So. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's how I did that, and uh, you can uh, watch here uh, how I go about doing this just so that it uh, has a better finished look. So, anyway, this is how it turned out.